My family tells me that they like this uh, being on the internet. They said they like it because they can quickly turn me right off. <laughs> it's good to be here. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace, the peace, the love of God, our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, the fellowship, and the friendship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. The Lord is near to us closer than our own heartbeat, closer than our own breath, so we can trust God as we now call to mind our sin. Lord Jesus, we sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy upon us. Forgive us our sin and bring us to life, life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will.
grace, O Lord, at all times go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will provide for all peoples a feast of rich food and choice wines, juicy, rich food and pure, choice wines. On this mountain, he will destroy the veil that veils all peoples, the web that is woven over all nations. He will destroy death forever. The Lord God will wipe away the tears from every face. The reproach of his people he will remove from the whole earth, for the Lord has spoken. On that day it will be said, Behold our God, to whom we looked to save us. This is the Lord for whom we looked. Let us rejoice and be glad that he has saved us. For the hand of the Lord will rest on this mountain. The word of the Lord. Give me courage. I, I shall live. 
spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life. I shall dwell in the house of the A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, I know how to live in humble circumstances. I know also how to live with abundance. In every circumstance and in all things, I have learned the secret of being well-fed and of going hungry, of living in abundance and of being in need. I can do all things in him who strengthens me. Still, it was kind of you to share in my distress. My God will fully supply whatever you need in accord with his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. To our God and Father, glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus again, in reply, spoke to the chief priests and the elders of the people in parables, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who gave a wedding feast for his son. He dispatched his servants to summon the invited guests to the feast, but they refused to come. A second time he sent other servants, saying, Tell those invited, behold, I prepared my banquet. My calves and fatty cattle are killed, and everything is ready. Come to the feast. Some ignored the invitation and went away, one to his farm, another to his business. The rest laid hold of his servants, mistreated them, and killed them. The king was enraged and sent his troops, destroyed those murderers, and burned their city. Then he said to his servants, The feast is ready but those who are invited are not worthy to come. Go out, therefore, into the main roads and invite to the feast whomever you find. The servants went out into the streets and gathered all they found, bad and good alike, and the hall was filled with guests. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This morning, I'd like to tell you two stories. Uh, each is unique, I think both important. 
The first one took place during World War II. It's the story of Lieutenant Commander Butch O'Hara. He was a, pi a, a fighter pilot assigned in the South Pacific. One day, his entire squadron was sent on a mission. And once airborne, Butch realized that someone had forgotten to top off his fuel tanks. And so without enough fuel to complete his mission, his flight leader told him to return to the carrier. Well, reluctantly, he dropped out of formation and he headed back to the fleet. As re he was returning, he spotted a squadron of Japanese bombers speeding toward the American fleet. He could neither reach his squadron to bring them back nor make it to his ship to warn them of the attack. And so laying aside all thoughts of personal safety, he dove into that formation of Japanese planes. With his wing-mounted 50 calibers blazing, he charged in, attacking one surprised enemy plane after another. When he exhausted his ammunition, he drove at the planes, trying to at least clip off a wing or a tail. The Japanese became so exasperated, they took off in another direction. For that action, he, for the action that he took, he became the Navy's first ace of World War II and the first naval aviator to win the Congressional Medal of Honor. Well, a year later, he was killed in aerial combat at the age of 29. His hometown wouldn't allow this, his memory to die, and so today, O'Hara Airport in Chicago is named in tribute to the courage of that great young man. Well, my second story concerns a man named Easy Eddie. At the time, Al Capone virtually owned Chicago, the entire city. He was enmeshed in everything in the city, from bootlegging to prostitution to murder. Easy Eddie was Capone's lawyer. He was very good at it. To show his appreciation, Capone afforded Eddie not only great financial rewards, but also every modern convenience, including an estate that occupied an entire city block in Chicago. But Eddie had a soft spot. He had a son that he loved very much, and nothing was too good for his son. He gave his son only the best. And despite his involvement with crime, he even tried to teach his son the difference between right and wrong. But there were two things that Eddie just couldn't do. He couldn't give his son a good name, and he couldn't give his son a good example. And so he made the most difficult decision of his life. He gave up his employment with Al Capone in attempt to, to rectify the many sins and the many crimes that he had uh, committed. And so he turned himself into the police and he testified against Al Capone and the mob. And so he's credited with being one of the major reasons that Al Capone's empire crumbled. Well, a year later, Easy Eddie was gunned down and killed on a Chicago street. But he made one final gift to his son, that is, the gift of integrity. You might be asking, well, what do these two stories have to do with each other? And that's rather simple. You probably figured it out. That Easy Eddie was the father of Butch O'Hara. And what does Butch and Eddie have to do with today's gospel? And I would suggest everything, everything. For the gospel teaches us that all of us are invited to the feast of God's kingdom. And it is a feast. But for our part, we must come prepared. In the words of the gospel, prepared, meaning we're dressed for the part. We're in the presence of the King, the Lord, the Creator, the one who's given all. And our clothing for God's kingdom isn't Calvin Klein or Versace. Our clothing for God's kingdom is a life dressed in integrity and honesty. It's a life filled with the heroism of virtue and of courage. 
to work to make right all those mistakes that we so easily make. The heroes of our life, that is, the heroes of God's kingdom, are not just those of greatness that is recognized by medals or accolades. More often than not, the heroes of God's kingdom are people like you and me, and Easy Eddie, who repented of his failings and tried to do what is right and good. And we try to do the same in each and every moments of our life. As I said at the very beginning, each story that I tell this morning is unique. It's important uh, that we, in a sense, that it focused on individuals. You are unique and you are important and you are invited to that feast. Come prepared. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God and light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in the Church. I confess in baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection. Each of us is poor and needy. We lift up our concerns to the living God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For our church, may God continue to help us to grow in holiness and strength as we nurture a culture of healing and light. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For lawmakers, may God's grace direct their hearts in proposing laws that protect the life and rights of all people, including those yet to be born. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick, may they know the healing power of Christ, who is our divine physician. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us here, may the Lord continue to help us speak the truth in charity to one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially Linda Sharano, Victor Caruso, Charles Rossi, and Linda Miller, may they find a place in the banquet of life in the eternal kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the people of our parish for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. This week was the feast day of Cardinal Newman, and he had a little prayer that goes like this will be a concluding prayer. Lead kindly light, lead thou me on. I do not ask to see the distant scene. One step, enough for me. Father, help us to just take one step at a time. Help us, dear Father, to live in your light, in your truth. Here are many concerns, for we make them in faith through Christ, our divine shepherd, who is the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
And together we pray that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, our Father Almighty. May the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. Praise and glory in his name. For our good and good of all, his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with these sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty, our salvation, always, everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. By his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering canceled out our sins, and by his rising from the dead he has opened the way to eternal life. Ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. Overcome with paschal joy, we sing the hymn of your glory. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus You are indeed holy, O Lord, for the font of all holiness. Make holy these gifts. Send down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body, the blood of your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. For at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving you thanks, he broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and again giving you thanks. He gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you, for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. story of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ's death and resurrection. And we offer you, Lord, this bread of life, this saving chalice, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, that we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, David, our Bishop, with the clergy, with all your people. And remember, our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face and have mercy on us all, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles, with all of the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For it is through Christ, with Christ, in Christ, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray for the coming of the kingdom as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles and to us, I leave you peace, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of the church, and grant us the peace, the unity of the kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. And, and the peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
for those unable to attend Mass this morning, an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits that prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. And let us pray.
We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go now and proclaim the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Thank you. 